What's up friends and welcome to Chris of Emory Animation, I'm Chris and today we're going to look at my favorite way of getting a cool looking electric bolt animation that I really like using both in my freelance work but also in my own projects. It's fairly quick and easy to do so I thought I wanted to share the process. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to li hit like and subscribe, consider joining the channel if you really want to support and with that out of the way, let's go! Now I am going to animate on this image of my character just to put the bolts in some kind of a context. You can download this PSD image in the description if you want to do the same or you can just do your own thing basically. So just a quick overlook at what we're going to do here. First we're going to frame by frame animate the movement and render a PNG sequence of the actual like core bolt. I'm working in Toon Boom but I'm trying to keep it as basic as I possibly can so you can do this with basic knowledge in any preferred drawing based animation software really. Like Adobe Animate or Krista for example. Then we're going to import the PNG sequence into After Effects where we are going to add some simple glow effect to the bolt. And at last we're going to do a pretty simple last minute bonus effect where we are going to add flickering light to the character. It's not really necessary for the bolt but I thought it might be a cool little extra thing to keep in there. So I have this scene locked on 24 FPS and I start by importing the image into the scene and also lock it so that I'm 100% that I won't go in on that layer and screw things up. I have a clean drawing layer on top of the art. And with a pencil or brush equipped with white color, I just start doing these bolt shapes from each hand. When done with the first one, I move forward two frames. Like I said, we are in 24 FPS document and I animate on twos, which essentially is the same thing as 12 FPS. You can of course animate every frame, but for the style I want, this will be perfect. So like I said, I've moved forward two frames and before I start on the next one, I make sure to activate Onion Skin. Onion Skin is a feature in every drawing based software and helps us see our last frame to sort of know where we are in the animation. Or in this case, I want to make sure I don't happen to draw a shape that's too much like the last one. So I continue with these sharp bold shapes two frames at a time using the Onion Skin. At the end of the little animation, I was thinking that maybe the bolts are going to decrease into my hands. So as you can see here, I do the last couple of bolt drawings shorter and shorter until they totally disappear in my hand. Let's have a quick preview of the animation thus far. I minimize the playback area to only cover the animation. I check loop and I hit play. Yeah, I think it turns out okay. I hide the background art and what we're going to do now is to render this naked electric bolt animation into a PNG sequence with alpha and import it into After Effects to add some electric glow. How to render a PNG sequence in your specific software might differ but in Toon Boom I just go into right layer properties and make sure image format is PNG and colors are set to color plus alpha. Next I hit file export render write nodes and render the frames I want to use and boom. And into After Effects we go. I create a new comp with the same base settings as my frame by frame file 24 FPS and 1920 by 1080. I double click projects to first import my background art PSD and drag the comp down in this area. Now we import the PNG sequence again by double clicking projects, clicking on one of the rendered PNGs and make sure to import as sequence by hitting that box and import. Now we need to make sure the FPS on our sequence is right by right clicking it and going into interpret footage and main. For some reason by default all sequences are 30 FPS but we want to uh, lower it to 24. So we do that and hit OK. Drag it on top of our layer structure and yes, let's add some glow. With the bolt layer selected, I go to Effects, Stylize and Glow. 
Now we have this effect with a bunch of settings that you can play around with to get it the way you want it. I'm just gonna fix some basics here, like glow colors. I set to A and B so that I can change A and B down here to preferred colors. Then I play with intensity and radius until I'm happy. Let's hit play and see what we've got. Yep, that's it my friends. So that's a pretty easy way to get those cool looking frame by frame bolts. Now from here I decided to do a little bonus thing by adding a flickering light to my character. It wasn't meant to be in there from the beginning but it might help someone out there so keep watching if you're interested in learning how I did that. So let's start by adding a new solid in the same kind of blue color. With it selected, I hit the ellipse tool and drag out a shape something like this. Then I go into the mask and increase the feather. Then in order to make it flicker, I go into opacity under transform. I alt click the opacity stopwatch and write out wiggle. Let's go with 10 comma 50. Now it's automatically flickering a bit. Let's make sure the layer is only visible when the bolts are firing. And uh, also, don't be afraid to play around with a mode. Maybe I'll go with like overlay on this one. Now let's cut this layer from here and go into our art comp. I paste it on top of everything and duplicate my character layer. I put the character copy on top of the solid and drag this track mat whip from the solid onto my character copy. Now we've created like a mask that makes the solid visible only within my character shape. And with the character visible below, it looks kinda cool. Let's go back to our main comp and that's it. Electric frame by frame bolts with glow and some extra flickering light on top of that. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I hope that unplanned last part didn't come off too hard or confusing. Let me know in the comments what you thought about all of this. Hit like and subscribe if you want more from me and see you next time.